A major portion of your aircraft maintenance and inspection program involves the treatment of corrosion and corroded components. This part of our program will cover paint stripping, standard methods of corrosion removal, cleaning prior to inspection, corrosion assessment, and surface preparation. We will go over each step of the described corrosion treatment on steel and aluminum components. If you found traces of corrosion on a painted surface, you first have to remove all the paint in and around the corroded area to get to the corrosion. Paint removal from small areas is usually accomplished by mechanical abrasion or hand sanding. Chemical paint strippers are used on larger areas and should be handled with caution. Whenever you are working with chemical paint removers, check the label or material safety data sheet for any special manufacturer's instructions you may have to follow. Wear protective goggles and rubber gloves and protect your skin from accidental splashes. Do not use chemicals of any sort in small, unventilated areas and always wear a respirator when directed by the manufacturer's instructions. Do not use paint removers containing acid on aircraft surfaces. Instead, use phenolic and non-phenolic paint removers. You should be aware that there are numerous environmental laws and regulations which may restrict the use of these products. Check to see if there are any EPA requirements which apply to your location and be sure to follow all safety precautions. Before applying paint remover, be sure to mask surrounding areas which may be damaged by the stripper. These areas include windows and canopies, all plastic parts, rubber hoses and tires, and all composite surfaces. Apply a thick continuous coating of the paint remover and leave it there long enough to wrinkle and completely lift the paint. Scrapers, pads, or brushes can be used to remove stubborn paint. Use more paint remover as needed. Once the paint and stripper are removed, you can begin repairing the damage that corrosion has caused. First, you must remove all of the corrosion product and damaged metal. The corrosion removal procedure will be different for each metal or component, but this video will provide you with a good working foundation. Refer to AC 43-4A for material or component specifics. The primary methods of corrosion removal used in the field are mechanical. Mechanical corrosion removal is done either by hand or with handheld power tools. Hand sanding uses abrasive mat, abrasive paper, or metal wool and is suitable for small areas. Powered mechanical sanding, grinding, and buffing use abrasive mat, grinding wheels, sanding discs, or abrasive rubber mats. Abrasive blasting is the most thorough method for removing rust from both low alloy steel and high stress steel surfaces on the aircraft exterior. It's important to remember that the smallest amount of rusting on a highly stressed steel part is potentially dangerous. The rust should be removed and controlled to prevent possible catastrophic failure of the part. Additionally, any surface abrasions or changes in surface structure from overheating can cause sudden failure of these parts. It is essential then that steel surfaces not be overheated during corrosion removal. When all the corrosion is removed, remove any residual paint, paint remover, and corrosion products by washing the surface with fresh water using a nylon bristle brush. Then remove any masking material and wash the entire aircraft or component with cleaning compound. The cleaning compound should be mixed to the manufacturer's recommended dilution. When finished, rinse the area again with fresh water to remove the cleaning compound. Be sure to remove all stripping compound from any nooks and crannies on the aircraft because the stripper will adhere to the surface and start new corrosion. Corrosion damage assessment is required to determine whether the necessary repair and rework is within the limits set by the manufacturer. The first step in assessing corrosion damage is to classify the corrosion as light, moderate, or severe. Let's look at corrosion assessment of aluminum. Light corrosion is distinguished by discoloration or pitting to a maximum depth of one one-thousandth of an inch. This is about one-fourth the thickness of an ordinary sheet of copier paper. Light corrosion can normally be removed by hand sanding. Moderate corrosion 
is characterized by blisters or evidence of scaling and flaking. Depths of pitting may be as deep as one one hundredth of an inch and may require extensive mechanical sanding to repair. Severe corrosion is indicated by blistering, exfoliation, as well as scaling and flaking. Pitting depths will be greater than one one hundredth of an inch. The manufacturer's repair manual will give the maximum amount of material which can be safely removed from a part or panel. If not, contact the aircraft manufacturer. You can use a depth dial gauge to measure the depth of the corroded areas. To properly use this tool, you will need to take readings both in and around the corroded area. First, you must zero the gauge by measuring a non-damaged area. Then take a reading from the deepest pit. This reading represents the amount of material lost to corrosion. Now that you have measured the extent of the corrosion damage, you must compare this last figure with the manufacturer's predetermined acceptable rework limits. If the damage exceeds the limit set by the aircraft manufacturer, the affected part must be replaced. On large structural parts, where the corrosion damage exceeds what is allowed in the structural repair manual and replacement isn't practical, contact the aircraft manufacturer. Corrosion damage not outlined in the aircraft structural repair manual will require FAA engineering or manufacturer's data to repair the component. Once you have made the determination that the damage is within the manufacturer's rework limits, you must treat the surface to prepare for repainting. Each metal used in aircraft construction requires a different type of treatment prior to refinishing. Here we will look at aluminum but full details for each metal are in your AC43-4A. Many non-clad aluminum alloys used in aircraft are anodized prior to construction. Anodizing creates an aluminum oxide surface barrier which is naturally protective, adding to the alloy's natural oxide film. You must restore the anodizing coating to reworked surfaces. After cleaning, a chemical conversion coating such as chromic acid or alodyne should be applied to inhibit corrosion and provide a suitable surface for painting. Mix the conversion coating according to the manufacturer's instructions. Apply to the surface with a stiff bristle or paintbrush. Quickly rinse the area with water to neutralize the solution and stop the reaction process. Repaint the treated area with the paint mentioned in the manufacturer's specifications. This should include an epoxy primer and top coat system. Magnesium, like aluminum, requires a chemical conversion coating prior to painting. The most common conversion coating is Dow 19. If Dow 19 is not available, the conversion coating can be made by mixing chromium trioxide or nitric acid and sodium dichromate in distilled water. Consult the manufacturer's instructions or your AC43-4A for precise mixing instructions. To summarize part three, we addressed every aspect of treating or repairing corroded metal. We discussed paint removal, removal of the corrosion product, corrosion damage assessment and rework limits, and surface preparation prior to painting. Each of the steps in the repair process must be done in turn or the repair will not be airworthy.